In the midst of an opioid crisis, state leaders are meeting with religious groups to try and look for different ways to fight a growing problem. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. Attorney General Steve Marshall and others held a forum at Briarwood Church this afternoon. And CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark was there and he's live there tonight. So Michael, faith-based organizations are getting involved with this effort. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of the suggestions at today's forum involve those religious groups using resources already available to try to help those who are addicted, similar to how they might reach out to anyone else as a part of their organization's mission to help people in this community. Opioid addiction is rampant across the country, but there may be even more potential for abuse right here in Alabama. We're number one per capita in opioid prescriptions. We're number two per capita in total pills that come into the state. Attorney General Steve Marshall admits he doesn't have all the answers and he's calling on churches to help. This is an issue of faith, that this is one for them to be engaged in the nature of their mission work and one that they can dramatically make differences in communities. Audience members saw this map that shows the most opioid deaths in the state are in Walker County, with Jefferson and surrounding counties with higher numbers. Abuse can often start after getting hooked on a prescription issued by a doctor. People in churches know there are likely fellow congregation members or visitors quietly struggling. It helps to pray for them during you know, the service to let them know that they're not an outcast. Eric Johnson represents Briarwood Church. He listened in as speakers talked about ways churches can get involved, like using vans to transport people to treatment centers or faith-based drug programs. They, they rely on the gospel, uh, religious message to cure them. And that is an important aspect of it. Medicine alone cannot take care of the addiction. As leaders continue to look for ways to add or change legislation, there's more to be done. And Marshall hopes Alabama's many religious organizations will join in the effort. This is not just something about law enforcement. We need to help these people not to get back into that rut. The federal representatives were also on hand today with a tremendous amount of resources to help educate people. Attorney General Marshall will have another one of his forums in North Alabama later this month. We have all of that information for you on our website and just through uh, download our CBS 42 News app for more information. Live in Birmingham, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.